just touched a toad and now I'm gonna get warts! Ah! But seriously, folks, that's the kind of misinformation that most people have about the common American toad. Toads will not give you warts, but they do sometimes breed in vernal pools. Let's learn more about our warty friends. Today I'm walking out to a vernal pool in hopes that I can encounter American toads that are breeding. The American toad is a medium-sized toad ranging from two to three and a half inches in length. It has a brown warty skin with patches of red, olive, or gray. The belly is white or yellow. Each brown spot on its back contains only one to two warts. Two large glands, called the parotoid glands, are located behind each of the eyes. These glands secrete a poisonous substance called bufotoxin, which can irritate human skin and can be dangerous to other animals. American toads migrate to vernal pools in April to breed. A sure sign that toads are mating is the high trill of the males as they vocalize to attract a mate. Each vocalization can last from 6 to 30 seconds. The sound is made as the male stretches out a rounded sac in its throat, called the dewlap, and forces the air across its larynx. The sound can be quite loud when you're surrounded by the toads while standing in a vernal pool. When a female is attracted to a male, he will hug her in a position called amplexus. Together they shed eggs and sperm into the water and the eggs become fertilized externally. American toad eggs are laid in two strands which may contain over 4,000 eggs. The eggs hatch into black tadpoles in 3 to 12 days. Tadpoles of the American toad are small and completely black with smooth skin and a somewhat rounded tail. They have gills located just behind the mouth. The tadpoles can avoid predation by staying in shallow water and swimming in large schools. I cannot believe how many toad tadpoles there are in this pool. Just take a look at this. When I run my net through the water, right here, Look what comes up. Look at all those tadpoles. Tadpoles undergo metamorphosis in 50 to 65 days, emerging from the vernal pool as a metamorph called a toadlet. The toadlets are about a half an inch in length and look just like miniature adults. Hundreds of these toadlets can be seen on trails as they disperse from vernal pools. American toad adults live in forests and grasslands and can be found in burrows as well as under flat stones, logs, and other cover. They are mainly nocturnal and eat many different types of invertebrates, including crickets and other insects, worms, and spiders. American toads have a sticky tongue which they use to grab their prey. These toads can live up to 30 years. Vernal pools are a special part of the New England landscape. We hope this program will help you to appreciate these habitats and the species that use them. Join us next time for another episode and thanks for watching.